We've got new balance changes that are possibly coming. They're tweaking these cards, but it's not final. This is the dev build. Mother Witch is going to hit 18% faster. First attack is going to be 25% faster. Last balance changes caused her use and win rates to plummet. They really nerfed her a lot, so this buff kind of counters the previous hit point DPS and gives you more of the little piggies. I feel like with retargeting, she's going to be able to reclaim more of the minions that the tower kind of gets. That's not bad. She got three piglets out of that. I want to see a Skarmy though. She's supposed to attack a lot faster, so more piglets means Skarmy's gonna get wrecked. She actually retargets really fast. 25% faster. That's illegal. Oh, am I reading that right? Electro Giant plus 9% hit points. A tournament standard that's 3856. So the latest rework made him a little too fragile, even with that lower elixir cost. Adding more hit points allowed him to retain the title of Giant. Those archers are gonna get wrecked. This is like an eight elixir electro giant oh, for seven elixir. Goblin drill travels 25% slower now. What? So with all the tunnels that the mighty miner has been doing, this drill has been traveling faster than usual. So it's back to before that. It that makes sense. This was low key buffed, but it was a glitch bug. Honestly, let us know in the comments. Supercell is listening, and they wanna. If you think roll giant has too much health, then it has too much health. If you think that this shouldn't be nerfed back to normal, then let us know. But this one's a bug fix so this one's probably here to stay for the next patch the night witch hit speed 0.2 seconds faster 1.3 second hit speed 13 percent faster i don't know about this the death spawn was the biggest thing for clone for elixir golem like yeah she attacks faster she's gonna have way more dps but not dying with with a bat she's not even legendary anymore oh but that connection to that tower that's actually kind of fast but no death bats come on that's what makes the night witch the night witch skeleton king pretty simple 20 skeleton down to 18. He put too much pressure on the opponents, and now they're chilling him out a little bit. 18 is still a lot. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. The log's knockback distance is minus 50%. So it's still going to have that long range, but the knockback effect is going to be a little bit less. This is with the reduced knockback. It still interrupts their attack, but only a little bit. Oh, here's a good example. Knocks back a little bit. Pekka didn't even have to really walk forward. Interesting take. They've never done this to the log. It's been one of the most used cards in the game for a long time because of its versatility and power. So they're hoping to make it a little less versatile so that the snowball can shine more. Royal Ghost Invisibility cooldown from 1.6 seconds to 1.8 seconds. It's very subtle, but you can kind of see it right here. Not gonna lie, I can't see it. 1.6, 1.8. <laughs> Barbarian barrel range from 5 to 4.5? Why? It's one of the strongest cards in the game consistently for many months. Months? That's it? Come on. The range will allow the barbarian to only hit the tower once instead of twice if left unanswered. That is a pretty big deal. Is it only going to hit the tower once? Almost gets the second swing, but not quite. What? Barbarians? They're going to attack 0.1 second faster. So 7% faster. That's a lot more DPS. 147 DPS multiplied by five. That's going to make Barbarian Barrel stronger. And Battle Ram. Let's see this connection. How much damage is going to do? Two swings, three. Ah, oh, we didn't get to see it. Wait, yeah, we can. How many swings does a Barbarian get? It's going to be very subtle. They seem to attack really fast now. I feel like it's just in my head. It's because I'm looking out for it. Not bad. That also makes the Barbarian Hut stronger. Slightly. Ever so gingerly. Look at the Barbarians ever so gingerly caress that golem there. It ain't getting through. Slightly faster. Wait till the two Barbarians. Oh, six Barbarians popping out. This is the dev build and they want y'all to see this for feedback because it's not set in stone yet. Unless nobody really has feedback, then they're not going to change anything. We got to test the real world interactions. Let's see how much faster than the Night Witch. Go oh, Mother Witch. You are a menace to society. Okay, there, there's a Skeleton King. I'm just going to do a Battle Ram. I think we're fine. I think... We're fine. Oh, that barbarian barrel is so much shorter now. Can do roll goes a little bit up there. We're fine. That barbarian barrel, that 0.5 nerf feels like 5 million football fields. No, no, no. Barbarians, that was not the play. I think with the electro giant still tanking, it's 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 gonna work. It's not bad. Oh, that's satisfying. The skeleton king only summons 18 now, so that's it's kind of subtle. Kind of. The knockback, though. Is that really a knockback? I'm shocked that they touched the log like that. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, double tank. We're actually in... <laughs> fine. It's fine. Oh. 
the abilities activated. We got we got Mother Witch. She, she attacks slightly faster. Night Witch though, she's doing work. That knockback is so cute. It's a lot of bats, but they didn't buff the Night Witch. Surprise! It's a really slow Goblin drill. Night Witch attacks faster. Not bad. Although she is a little threatening, so we're gonna kite her a little bit. All right, how are we gonna do this? I don't have Barbarian Hut anymore. Oh, is the Goblin Drill worth it? I don't even think so. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just feed them piglets. Nope. Everything's fine. This is all calculated. Oh, a piglet spawned from that Electro Giant. Wait. Does the is the log even going to help me? Kind of? It doesn't knock them back for as long. It still disables them and resets their attack, but it's different. All right, Mother Witch is going to just feed. Oh, I hate that it doesn't respawn. That distance is so wacky. One hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. I almost feel like that nerf is advantageous in this situation. Because the Barbarian just spawns a little bit closer there. <laughs> Barbarians attack 0.7 faster, but that means they die a little faster to the Electro... Uh, wait, where'd my Electro Giant go? It's all calculated in the grand scheme of... Oh, no, no, no. Goblin Drill? Don't connect? Oh, that Goblin Drill death damage. All right, we're full setting on the on the left side. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't care about that Mother Witch. Oh, the Barbarian Barrel? Can you not be bad? I'm totally gonna ignore those piglets. I might be in danger. No, it's fine. It's fine. Electro Giants on their tower. Those barbarians, though. 0.1 second. So 7% faster. I don't even want to use the log anymore. It's kind of weird. Skeleton King versus Electro Giant that has the stats of an 8 elixir Electro Giant, but is now 7 elixir. We'll see. We'll see if they keep any of these. Bro, I can't deal with no Electro Giant. That is, that is obnoxious. Oh, no, no. It's fine. Mother Witch, stop being Mother Witch. Mother Witch is back. If y'all don't say anything, she's going to be meta again. This is all subject to change. Holy barbarians. Ghost is going to splash. That's that's value right there. If I ever saw value. Oh, wait a minute. Give me some souls. Why am I playing so sweaty? We're just looking at balances. Oh, my bats are feeding. Let's activate that ability. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I kind of do like how she attacks a little bit faster, but having so many piglets spawn, I don't know how I feel about that. That ghost is kind of value. Battle Ram is faster. I, I don't know if I can accept that, really. <laughs> there are so many pigs right now. Mother Witch is back. I'm calling it now. Fireball is going to be meta. She retargets faster. She attacks faster. What more could you want? Watch my... Barbarians drop faster because they attack faster. Uh, that's not bad. That's all the balance changes in the dev build that are subject to change. Let us know in the comments because Supercell wants to read everything. And how do you feel about these buffs and nerfs on these cards? What other cards do you think deserve a buff or a nerf? Comment down below.